Okay, in this question we're told the following. We've got curve C and uh, it's got a qu the following equation where x has to be bigger than uh, 0 and uh, we're asked to show that the normal to the curve at the point x is 3 is given by the following equation. So the first thing I would always do, is I would get the easy mark. We know we're trying to put uh, the normal in this form here. So we're trying to get the gradient. Our two targets are to get the gradient and to get a set of uh, coordinates that are on the curve. So what we're going to do is we're going to first of all get the y point. So you know that when x is 3, y would be what you get when you substitute 3 into this. Okay, so y would be equal to 3 squared, subtract 5, multiply by 3, add 2, the natural logarithm of 3 over 3. Now, this is log 1. You should know log 1 is 0, so this effectively has no contribution to this. And so we've got 9, take away 15, which is going to be y is equal to negative 6. So our pair of coordinates are 3 and negative 6, and we've got ourselves the nice easy mark um, part of the question. Okay, so now we need to find the gradient. So we're going to differentiate. So we've got y is equal to x squared subtract 5x plus 2 ln of x over 3. And we're going to differentiate this, uh, this function here. So dy by dx is going to be, let's differentiate each component, x squared differentiates to 2x, negative 5x differentiates to negative 5. Now, let's just think about this just to get our bearings here. Uh, maybe even do some side working off here just to show you why I'm getting these answers. So if y, if I had a different function, y was equal to ln x over 3, then y dashed would be the differential of uh, inside the bracket, so it would be a third divided by what was in the bracket x over 3. And a third divided by uh, x over 3 is simply 1 over x. Okay, because effectively there's a third on top, a third multiplied by 1, and there's a third on the bottom, a third multiplied by x, and the thirds cancel, and you've got 1 over x. So um, there was a 2 here outside, so therefore this is going to differentiate to 2 over x, so plus 2 over x. So that's our dy by dx. And we want our dy by dx at the x is equal to 3 value. So this would be when we substitute in there, substitute in 3. So 2 multiplied by 3, take away 5, plus 2 over 3. And that would be equal to 1 and 2 thirds, which would be 5 over 3. Now what you can do is you can get your calculator. The calculator has a differentiate button on it. So what you could do is you could press d by dx. You're going to differentiate your function which was 2x subtract 5 plus, uh, no, it wasn't, it was, sorry, x squared squared subtract 5x plus 2 natural logarithm of fraction x over 3, like that. And you're working out and the value x is equal to 3. If I tap that in, sorry, I must have typed something wrong there, you're differentiating the following x squared subtract 5x plus 2 natural logarithm of fraction x over 3 like that and I'm working that out when x is equal to 3 I think I just need one more bracket in here. And I get 1.66666, which is 5 over 3, which is 1 and 2 thirds. So that just helped me check that I got the right answer there. So anyway, I've got the right answer. I've got my x and my y point here, and I could uh, keep going. Now, that's the gradient of the tangent, obviously. So state that to the examiner. State that this is the gradient of the tangent is 5 over 3. So therefore the gradient, therefore the gradient of the normal would be the negative reciprocal, which is negative three fifths. So we're ready to go. Y subtract our Y1 was negative six. So Y subtract negative six is equal to negative three fifths X subtract uh, three. At this stage, I've multiplied by the five 
and this these you know, y subtract negative 6 is y plus 6 so times it by 5 I get 5y add 30 is going to be negative 3x subtract 3 and 5y add 30 is going to be equal to negative 3x add 9 now let's just take a look how it said it wanted it in the question. It said it wanted you to show it in that form with 3x. So I'm going to add 3x to both sides and take off 9. I get 3x add 5y uh, and take off 9 plus 21 is equal to 0. And that's exactly what I wanted in the question. Right, the next bit, it says find the x-coordinates of the stationary points of C. So the stationary points of C happen when dy by dx is 0. So state that to the examiner. So for stationary points, for stationary points, dy by dx is equal to 0. So we need to go up and solve the equation dy by dx is 0. This was our dy by dx. So 2x subtract 5, uh, add 2 over x. We're solving that equals 0. Multiply everything by x, OK, to remove the x off the denominator. 2x squared subtract 5x add 2 is going to be equal to 0. Uh, see if you can factorise 2x, x. I think you're going to get negative 2 and then negative 1 equals 0. So therefore, x is equal to uh, 2 and x is equal to a half are our two answers for the stationary points here. Did it ask for coordinates? It just said find the x coordinates. It didn't ask for the y coordinates. So therefore, uh, x is a half, x is 2 are the x coordinates of the stationary points. And we're done.